Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Today we have a hero rework spotlight. Does, does that make sense? If not, who cares? Let's stick around and watch Rufio since his rework. Do a, do a revisit on the hero. So uh, let, let's jump right in and let's take a peek at uh, Rufio. So Rufio got a rework. He is insanely strong now. Uh, we're going to go over all of the reasons why. Uh, but first, let's start off with some uh, equipment stuff. So the first order is I highly recommend having some level of damage reduction on him. Uh, so a flawless Tatonic Axe uh, tends to be superior. Uh, I'll, I'll go over that more later. So the flawless Axe or just the Tatonic Axe will give him 20% damage mitigation. When we look at the sets in the set possibilities, the first one we have is the craftable set. Uh, two recipes from the Void, one recipe you buy from the Royal Archives. This will increase damage against massive units by 200%. We're going to circle back to this set, but for right now, we'll, we'll leave it there. For accessories, you can do what, whatever you want for the accessories. Um, I, I like this one just because he's in deep with the, the enemy lines and it, it works well. Uh, so do whatever you want for the accessories. When it comes to the weapon, if you choose to go with the craftable item set or any set for that matter, uh, then you will want a pair, pair of earrings for Rufio's accessory, so he gets the additional crit hit chance. Um, if you are not going with the full craftable set or any other set, feel free to go with whatever weapon you, you want for maximum damage. Since Rufio is going to be full aggressive mode, increasing uh, your, your total might on Rufio will help out tremendously with your damage overall. Um, I still lean more towards stamina, uh, but that, that's just personal preference. It's not best. Uh, on, honestly, you'll, you'll want to go for might. <coughs> when it comes to the artifact, if you plan on doing a deep impact, I highly recommend going with a max out Leo's Pride. The damage in the burst from this artifact is absolutely massive. Um, you can deep impact in onto the enemy archers and at the same time have the Leo's Pride proc doing a bunch of damage. You can pretty much kill off any human archers or warlocks that if, if you watch the Clash of Rufio video, uh, you, you can see how, how effective that is. So one last uh, thing when it comes to the items and or weapons. There's three different sets that you, you can roll with Rufio. The first is the craftable set. And if you're going to do um, anything serious, I think the craftable set is by far the best for him. Uh, the other set that you could go for, if I have it, is the dragon set. And what the dragon set does is it gives more damage mitigation. However, Teutonic Axe and the Dragon Set mitigation does not stack, so you'll generally go with one or the other. Since Rufio is going full aggressive, uh, I don't think we need to worry about the Dragon Set at all. The third option, um, and the, the one that I, I don't think is, is, uh, is necessarily as good as the others, is going to be the Clash of Feet uh, Gladiator Set. The reason why is Rufio isn't going to live very long. He's kind of like a kamikaze. He jumps in, he does a ton of damage. He's probably going to die right off. Uh, so I think that this is a total waste of a set for him. So when, when we do look at sets, the only set that, that's worth it is going for uh, the craftable uh, gladiator set. Because it increases damage against massive units by 200%, if uh, if your primary goal with your Rufio is to kill the enemy dragon, uh, Rufio can pretty much one-shot kill, you heard that correctly, one auto attack and kill a dragon, a, a full-blown dragon, uh, if he has the craftable set on and the proper skilling, uh, along with, you know, hero levels and uh, might and all that other good stuff. Uh, if he procs a crit when he hits that dragon, it's going to be dead in one hit. It might take two. It might take two auto attacks. I mean, I'll, I'll complain. Uh, so, 
the crashable set is very good if that is your primary goal. Um, if your primary goal is just to kill off warlocks or human archers or in any of the squishies, I don't think the set is going to be uh, as important, but you, you really can't go wrong with it. The only reason why I don't have it right now is uh, I, I need to make a, a new sword. When we look at, under his abilities, we have Arena King, uh, the greatest warrior in all of whatever. Rufio fights with a bunch of stuff. Rufio impacts his targets with a sackable intimidate buff. Max of 5 sacks, intimidate enemies deal 15% less damage to Rufio for 6 seconds after Rufio uses an active ability. His evade chance is increased by 30%. So pretty much whenever you use an active ability from Rufio, uh, he will hopefully stay alive a little bit longer. Next we have Blazestorm. Uh, I'll probably call this Whirlwind uh, from here on out. Uh, he will spin around, uh, move forwards in, in, a, in a line. He'll pull enemies closer, deal damage to them, then at the end of his movement, he'll stop and the Whirlwind will keep going, sucking enemies in and dealing damage. He can do this three times per battle. Next we have Chopping Blade. Uh, Chopping Blade is um, an ability of, of uh, Rufio's that every time he uses another active ability, his next basic attack is guaranteed to be a Chopping Blade. Um, it deals a bunch of damage. It does a small AOE. This is a huge skill. We'll come back to all of it. Next we have Intimidating Shout. So Intimidating Shout offers him a bunch of stamina and also um, will stun at the start of the battle. We have Fearless. So Fearless uh, increases Rufio's damage by percent increases uh, to large and massive units. We'll circle back to this if you haven't guessed. <clears throat> Next we have Bloodbath. Bloodbath actually gives Rufio Lifesteal, uh, which if you play League of Legends, it's just like Lifesteal in League of Legends. Uh, when he does auto attacks or an anything like that, um, he will gain health. Um, I think it's from Chopping Blade and Bladestorm. It also reduces his recovery time. And finally, we have Deep Impact. Deep Impact costs one health. He will jump forth in the battlefield, smash down on the ground, dealing a bunch of damage to enemy units, stunning them for three seconds. The area that he landed on will decrease the attack speed and movement speed of enemies by a big portion for a long time. If he goes out and back into that circle on the ground, all of those enemies will then be stunned again. So how to skill your Rufio? Well, I, I think this depends on what your goal is. If you want a, a Dragon Slayer Rufio, then you're going to want to focus on Fearless. Uh, just because it gives so much, so, so, so much increased damage uh, to massive units, which is the Dragons. Couple this with uh, Rufio's, Rufio's crafting set for 200% more damage to massive units, it all stacks up. It, it allows him to do insane damage to massive units, which are dragons, uh, trees as well. So trees have a lot of physical damage reduction. Uh, so it's tougher for Rufio to chop them down compared to a, a squishy dragon. But Rufio is still pretty good at it. Now, if you're going more for a, a burst type of Rufio, like to kill warlocks or ar archers and things like that, then you'll probably want to go more with the uh, chopping blade. That way, Rufio can do a deep impact in, hit the ground, uh, have Leo's pride proc, do a bunch of damage, and then have chopping blade uh, also do a little bit more, more damage. Now, you can go a, a, a totally another route. Um, and get some points into Bladestorm. Remember, when he does Bladestorm, he will get lifesteal from this, so he'll stay alive. And, and Bladestorm does a surprising amount of damage. And finally, um, I think we should always max out Deep Impact. Uh, deep Impact is his bread and butter for getting to the targets that he needs to kill. So whether this is getting to the enemy dragon to hopefully one hit kill the, the enemy dragon, or if it's to get to the squishy backline of, of the enemies, deep impact is needed. And I do always go with max out Intimidating Shout, uh, simply because 
uh, four seconds of sun and a bunch of extra stamina. So how should you do your Rufio? Figure out what your goal with your Rufio is. Uh, num number one, if your goal is to kill dragons, then go with uh, Deep Impact, Intimidating Shout, Fearless, um, and the Craftable uh, set for Rufio to fully max out that, that damage uh, against the dragon. If your goal is to kill human archers or warlocks or anything like that, then I would go with a, uh, again, Deep Impact, Intimidating Shout, and some points into Chopping Blade, and uh, yeah, what, whatever you want for, for, for Gears that's going to allow him to get in deep. No matter what, I think Leo's Pride is good on Rufio. Now, when should you not use Rufio? I think if you are probably on a newer server, your Rufio is not high level, um, he doesn't have much, much attack, uh, then I, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Uh, simply because he's not going to do um, <clears throat> as much damage and he's just going to give up a free moral boost. And when it comes to prioritizing Rufio for your, your heroes in general, I, I have a, a, a hard time justifying rushing him ab above other heroes. Uh, but at the same time, just like with uh, Raxius, he, he's now very impactful because of the human meta. Um, so I, I, I don't, I don't really know. It's, it's a personal decision for you. Try, try him out. And if you feel comfortable using him, um, it's, it is a little risky. The, the there, there is a, a, a lot that could go wrong with every fight. Um, so if you're o okay with that, uh, volatility and, and, uh, chance for things to backfire, then yeah, level up Rufio sooner rather than later. Um, I still wouldn't put him ahead of like Jax or your rogues or uh, your key heroes, uh, but but you can prior prioritize him sooner. If you're looking for um, a safer, more consistent route, then Rufio might not be for you if you're lower level. Uh, eventually, all of your heroes will get up high and you'll be able to use him regardless. Uh, but yeah, the last thing I'll mention uh, with Ru Rufio is... If you know where your enemy's Cleo is, uh, or other key heroes, try and line your, your Rufio up so he does his Intimidating Show, because his Intimidating Show will actually stun the enemy heroes as well. So I have a couple clips um, from Rufio totally dominating. Uh, let, let's check those out while, while we do this. He has three packs of Huntresses, uh, a, a few trees, uh, and a few packs of Archers. And his archers just absolutely dominated that, that top portion. He's able to move up. His, his uh, Rufio, guys, when it comes to Rufio plays, Chip's Rufio is amazing to watch. So his Rufio jumped in deep, did back-to-back did -back whirlwinds, and pretty much took out all of the enemy's archers on the top section. Really fun to watch because he is so skillful at... at Rufio, pretty, pretty much all aspects of, of the game, which I'm sure that the, the Lich player was thrilled thrilled that he only won in might. And it looks like he just has so many skeletons going up against Toby. Toby went in deep with his Rufio. Holy crap. His Rufio just took out all of the Warlocks. Forget Clash of Fate. Let, let's look at Clash of Rufio. Holy crap. Do you guys see that? I, I, I just want to do that one, once more. Once more. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What, what, watch these uh, two packs of Warlocks right here. I know there's a lot of, of other things going on, but just watch this. Rufio goes in. His heroic leap. Gone. Two full gold packs. Gone. Instantly erased from Rufio. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny, uh, but it's hilarious. I hope you guys like those clips. Um, please subscribe uh, for, for more content. Uh, like the video if you have not liked the video already. And uh, yes, stay, stay tuned for more awesome videos from the OGC community. Take care, guys.